Just now, over 500 mine workers remain underground at Gold One's uh, East Modern Mine in Johannesburg. They are reportedly refusing to resurface until the union AMCU is recognized, but the National Union of Mine Workers says its members are being held against their will. ENC is Bafedile Murani there for us and joins me now for this update. Bafedile, from where you stand, what's the latest? Well, at this point in time, it is AMCU's word against NUM's word. We haven't had a word from the mine management at this point in time. And earlier on, we engaged the National Union of Mine Workers, who are actually saying that they have not yet today uh, engaged the mine on the way forward. But now, because of what is transpiring here, a number of people in particular the parents of some of the workers here or the family members, um, I would use that word, are worried about the situation. They're really worried about their well-being at this point in time because it's a number of reports that we are gathering on the ground. Uh, what we gather up to so far, we understand that there are reports of injuries on the ground there and there were paramedics that were sent on the ground yesterday they were also held against their will. That's what we gather from the National Union of Mine Workers representative. That's what they are saying that they've been told by the mine management. But at this point, Dumelo, let me speak to Ntate Alfred Silimela. He is one of the worried family members. Rasilimela, you saying your son has since went to work on Sunday. You never had an engagement with him. You worried at this point in time. Have you engaged the mine? Yes, uh, let me start by saying good day, Fedile, and the viewers. Uh, thank you for having me here. Uh, as you know, this thing started yesterday. Uh, we, I haven't spoke to my son, and then I only heard that they are trapped uh, under the ground. So I've been here since this morning, half past eight. But before I came here last night, seeing that uh, the situation is like a bit worrying, I had to call the head of legal of this uh, mine, who told me that uh, at that point in time he had no information as to what's happening underneath. I said, don't you even know about the well-being of uh, the people underground? He said he knew nothing, he's got no information as to what is happening. And that actually gave me more worry. I couldn't sleep the whole night until I came here this morning. And then uh, I've been with uh, the workers uh, here. Then listening to all these workers, they talking to the same language. The language that they mm, talking, they talking about the ill treatment of the, the, this uh, mine company that they are still working under the condition of the apartheid uh, regime. And this worried us, uh, that, that, that's where you will expect <clears throat> Labor Department from the government to chip in. Really, you can really see that if really uh, our Labor Department, our government was hands-on on the workers, really we wouldn't be in a situation uh, like this. So. Uh, for me to contact uh, maybe whether the Labour mm, has to find out how the well-being of uh, mm, my kids under the ground. Uh, look, I'm only looking at God's mercy because the answer that I'm going to get is just the same as uh, the head of legal of this company. The person who you expect to be knowing that the repercussion of the bad uh, results of uh, this incident, but he doesn't know the well-being of these people. If all those people are dead there, look, he's not even worried. He doesn't know. So this, what, as I can't go in there, as a parent, it worries me a lot. Well, thank you so much. And Tate Silimela there having to share the sentiments of saying that he's really worried about the well-being of those who are underground. So earlier on the Dumelo, we spoke to the National Union of Mine Workers representative in the area. Let us listen to what he had said to us. Maybe let me start by saying all these members that are, 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 are held hostage underground are any members. We are having plus minus 
1,925. Then there are those few people, AMCO people, that have hold our people hostage. There is even seven people that got injured yesterday. If then there is no hostage, what, what do they call it? Where are those seven people? Those seven people are still underground, and there was a team sent to go and rescue them, um, the paramedic and the security guy, and those guys were also kidnapped by so-called AMCO members. Where are the paramedics at this point? The paramedics and the security guy are still underground. And what is the mind saying about the situation? Unfortunately, this mind doesn't assist us. We have, tried, we have tried to reach all the avenues in order to come up with solution. The mind is indecisive. They cannot decide as to what to do. Uh, they, 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 they are divided into two. Other two of the management are saying, let's do it this way. The other two is saying, let's do it this way. All right, Buffett Lemura, and this way we'll leave it uh, for now and for today, of course, and continuing on with uh, placing a closer look on those developments for the rest of the day.